Don't forget to hit subscribe for more clips just like this. Well, I've never seen her. I've never seen her wrestle a man. I have a feeling you do, though, so you got that little evil smirk on you. I'm very, very experienced when it comes to wrestling, man. That's no lie. Hey, now. And it's probably easier to ask you who, who hasn't trained at Mia Yim. Mia Yim's been trained by Delirious, Daisy Hayes, Black G's, Drew Gulak, DJ Hyde. She's been trained by some of the best. This woman is truly a rising star in the industry, whether you like it or not. I like it, and you know what? It's just a little bit of trivia here. I have faced Daisy Hayes before, and I can say with absolute certainty she is very good, and I'm sure that if she passed on her credentials to Mia Yim, then I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Spookville or no Spookville? They're just in time for Halloween here. I mean, that's a perfect place to have them. But right there, vicious chop right to the chest. Nothing spooky about that. That's just vicious. Vicious, I said, Catherine. Yeah, I guess Christina Von Erie thought she could scare me off there with her little antics, but um, sometimes it's not as easy as all that. Going and for I, a cover there. And I should know, because sometimes I manage to intimidate a lot of people, and sometimes they still like sneak up on me. Well, when I first met you, I was a little intimidated, but now that you've joined us at commentary, I'm not intimidated. Thank you again for joining us here. Oh, right into a pinfall attempt here. Oh, but only two for Von Matt Bennett, the referee, sliding into position. Now, that's the one who, who was the official of your contest there. That's the one. He's the evil doer. She's been eyeing him up and not in a good way the whole time. I saw you blow him the kiss of death at one point during your match. I did, I did. But he dodged a bullet. You know what? I was. I thought, you know, it would be better to be, you know, friendly. He's there, you know, watching everybody's best interests. But in the end, it was not to be. He turned a blind eye when I most needed him. So uh, he's off my Christmas list. Oh, boy. Well, let's see if he calls this one down the middle, our main event here. A methodical contest, quite frankly. Mia Yim in control, just whipping Christina Von Erie from pillar to post, as it were. She is. She's doing whatever's necessary to get a little scale back to Spooksville. You want to talk about knowing something about one of these competitors, Mia Yim, internationally known, traveled to the land of the rising sun with other promotions, female promotions, I know that much, and making quite a name for herself here in the United States as well. From Spooksville to the land of the rising sun, now, 
have any countries that are not made up that you can think of? Well, no, no, no. Mia Yim from San Diego is yeah. the one who's traveled to the land of the rising sun. I, Christina Moniri, all I know is she's a tough customer. And she's David, actually due to go on her first tour of Japan coming up. And there you have it. In my research, just for you. Well, she's definitely going to have to be a tough cookie if that's in the line for her. Yeah, I'll say. And she can survive a match here with Mia Yim. Mia Yim, gotta be the odds on favorite to, now that you're out of it, of course, Ms. Lee, she's gotta be the odds on favorite to win the Bombshell Ladies of Wrestling Championship tournament if she can get through Christina Von Erie, of course. Yeah, if she can get through her, it's a very big if there. Well, right now, it's looking pretty good for her. I mean, she's starting to accommodate one of those spooky girl now. Spook, Spook City is where you said she's from. Does that mean that there's a high density population of African Americans in the city that she's from? I will not comment on that, Larry. Come on. That's a terrible thing. She's not looking as spooky as she normally does. I've seen this woman with a big mohawk, about four feet above her head. Tonight, she doesn't have all the gel and the mousse in. She let the hair down, have you? Behave yourself over there, Majestic. Hey, hey, Christina Bonieri, she wants to let down her hair like she just don't care. But right now, Mia Yim with a great cut red suplex, only able to negotiate two in that one. You know what? I think you will find that that hair. Matt. May actually end up being the deciding factor. Because sometimes little details like that can make all the difference in a match such as this. Absolutely, it's all in the details in the ring and outside the ring in life in general. But right here, vicious punches back and forth. Oh, little hair pulling never hurt. Whips her right to the mat. Well, when it comes to hair versus hair right now, I've seen Christina Von Erie with the mohawk and I've seen Mia Yim with the ponytails. Right now, tens across the board for Mia Yim. Her hair is definitely flying back and forth. And hair performance, she was the winner in this contest, even though I know it's an actual physical match. I like to see their hair. Plus, well, the Samson connection, isn't it? Sometimes all the power lies in the hair, like then you do. Can we see you lying right the way what he's doing? This well, hair. I mean, I got, I got a trim, you know? I'm kind of a Amazon. May, if you may I touch it? May I touch Absolutely. it? Oh, oh, oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. She is definitely incapacitating her opponent here. Yeah. Finally just like says, throws her to the mat, having fun with her, taunting the fans here in Rawway. I was just touched by Katarina Lee. I actually, am, I'm feeling kind of saucy right now. I saw her first, Larry. All right, all right, David Adams. Duly noted, duly noted. She's totally the bad. She was taking the bow, rightly so deserved. Oh, yeah. She's doing so well in this match. Oh, I spoke too soon. Beautiful suplex. She's got to put her faster, hook the leg. Here she goes, hooks the leg too. It was an uh, over-the-head Northern Lights suplex. She didn't bridge. Uh, she may have gotten it done if she did. I think she, uh, she maybe was out of strength to do the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bring up a good point. You bring up a good point. She's taken quite a drumming uh, thus far in this contest. Oh, and Mia Yim pulling a, a, a trick out of Roddy Roddy Piper's book and just a thumb to the eye there. That's all it takes sometimes to gain that ever so important advantage. Well, sometimes it's the difference between the winners and the losers. There's that detail again, the devil in the detail. There you are. Absolutely. There's a lot on the line here. Single elimination tournament. Well, this is you know, disrespectful. You're, you're losing. You're out of the tournament here. She wants, both these women want to move on to that second round for that coveted Bombshell Ladies of Wrestling Championship. And Mia Yim not endearing herself to this crowd at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if the crowd cheers or boos. That's not what's going to take you to the pay window, as they say, or advance you in this tournament. That's true, but sometimes a little appreciation when you're doing a good job would be nice. I, I mean, what's the, what's the booze all about? Like, she's obviously, she's winning. Shouldn't they be cheering and clapping? Well, right now, I don't think she cares about the booze or the cheers or the claps. Right now, she cares about winning. Look at this single leg Boston crab. She's right near the rope, so it's not better right on top of the situation. Poor positioning to execute a single leg Boston crab. And wait a minute. It's a roll up. Bennett slides into position. Maybe you, maybe you lit a spark under his uh, rear end there because he seems to be on it like a bonnet for this contest, Katarina. But me and him right on top of things. The Blasian Barbie not messing around. She's having fun with her opponent right now, well in control of this very important main event matchup here this evening at Sweet 16 plus one. Well, let's just say that I think that the zebra is just a little unnecessarily pedantic tonight. Hey, well, he's been doing it for 10 years. He and I were just having that conversation in the backstage area. I'm coming up on my 10-year anniversary. Matt Bennett been doing this for 10 years, ladies and gentlemen. So, like a good teacher, he's going to admonish a, a competitor a time or two, maybe even a little too many times. Maybe sometimes just the wrong one. 
Something. Oh, yeah, sure. I was about to say, it should be interesting. Katarina Lee not too happy with Matt Bennett tonight. We'll have to see how things turn out at future shows coming up. Maybe December 6th. Matt oh, Bennett. and Mia Yim. Oh, look at that. Look hitting the Rick roll. She learned that from another competitor, Greg Excellent. And it is an excellent move. But not good enough for the win. Christina Von Erie kicks out on two and a half, says Matt Bennett. The action continues. The fans really getting into it here at the world famous Rawway Rep Center. Well, it seems to me that Christina Von Erie is dying here slowly, unless she's already dead, which would be now, now, Katarina, I have a question for you. As a, a female competitor, why go for a move like that, like a, a camel clutch after having so much momentum on your side? Why? What is Mia Yim thinking? I would go for high impact. Oh, well. Oh, nice Muay Thai spinning back fist. It's a German, dude. Well, it's all right, it's all right. The thing is my the guy's head was in my way. I'm sorry. What, what, what were you saying, Katarina, about the camel clutch there? Well, because the thing is, you're breaking down their palm with all those high impact moves, but sometimes it's not easier to pin their palm and shoulders down for three seconds. Sometimes, once they're so worn down, it's easier to make him give up. Well, Christina, Christina Von Neu will not say die. Uh, Von Neu, I'm sorry. Obviously, she will not say die. She kicked out of the German suplex. Thank you for correcting me. I apologize. I'm obviously the young one here at the table. Least experience. But here, Christina Von Neu tried to go for some offense. Pure desperation. Dead. Pure desperation right there. She tried, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something I just I was waiting with bated breath to see what it was gonna be a spinning DDT. Well, she definitely got lucky that she got her arms around that head just in the nick of time. That could have like ended up very very differently. Then. Oh, you're absolutely right there. And now a, a, a nice steady count from the zebra there, Matt Bennett, ten years in the game. Boo. Oh, don't worry, Katarina. Oh, I don't really like him that much either. My favorite referee is Brett Lauderdale, followed by Nick Papa Giorgio, but that's another story for another day. Well, thank you, Larry. And who's your favorite female wrestler? Oh, I mean, Katarina Lee. Thank you. But back to the action here. They're on their knees. V vicious uppercuts and chops. Now they're both on their feet. It's like round 15, right in the middle of the squared circle. These women leaving it all in the ring tonight. Oh, a fake out. Oh my goodness, I a don't know. fake out there. Is Mia Yim busted? I think she spat in her face. I think that's what you oh, she happened. Wait a minute. Christina spat in Mia Yim's face. Oh, and now Christina's old. A trifecta of offensive maneuvers there. I saw a Muay Thai spinning back. Fist, followed by an insecurity. Ow! Oh, did she get her? No, not enough to get it done. And now a ground and pound. Now this. Matt Bennett with some close calls tonight. That's only two and three quarters, he said. I'll be honest with you, I never expected this to happen. This is quite a turn of events. Well, who do you predict to win this tonight, Ms. Lee? Well, let me say, if I had to put money on it, I would probably say Drum Mia Yim. Especially Mia Yim, since, since there you go, she's taking over again. That was just a little bit of a flurry and a little bit of luck. Right, Christina got it back up for a second, but... Uh, Really, in oh, the gosh. grand scheme of things, she's not going to have a chance. Oh, and a that release. beautiful suplex. A release German suplex there, David Adams. Hey, David Adams has definitely learned what a German suplex is tonight. Lesson learned. Check. You know what a Dutch oven is. Hey, we have a lady at the, at the table here. Behave so yourself. Wait a minute. Cobra Clutch. Oh! oh, shit. Good gracious. I've never seen anything like that before. That could be the one that does it. And wait a minute. No. Christina Von Erie wrapping her up. Wait a minute. No. No. Oh my goodness, is she going to be able to get her up there? No. She's stretching her pretty good. I didn't think we were going to be able to see this. The crowd wants her to tap, but she's reaching for the ropes. Oh, she gets to the ropes. Matt Bennett counts up to, the count was almost up to five. She breaks just in time. The match goes on. Unbelievable action here. Well, let's face it, she's going to be a little bit more resourceful than that. She's come this far. She's not going to just give up on like a little lucky maneuver. That she's going for it again. Suplex machine tonight. Well, that doesn't finish her off. I don't really know what. Wait a minute. I think I know what Mia is going to set up for right now. It's her high impact. Top rope move, the Sky Yim. Oh, she came up empty, just a little bit short.
short Katarina and Lara. Oh my god, the turning point that Christina's been looking for. And now Christina Von Erio! What a move, unbelievable! A tilt to world gut wrench! Call it the 138! Let's go to the official word from David 